Hey guys, it's Ling and today I'm gonna be marbling paper. It's actually my first time doing it, but I've done a ton of research so I feel quite prepared. My end goal is actually to marble on leather and then incorporate those into my bag designs because I feel like that's gonna add a really nice fun pop of color. But since paper is orders of magnitude cheaper than leather, I'm gonna practice on paper first. I'm gonna bring you along on my first marbling session and give you tips and pointers along the way. And I've also included some really helpful resources in the description below. All right, let's get into it. I'm about to start my first marbling session. I'm wearing this random big oversized shirt because I heard that marbling gets messy and I don't really care if I get paint on this one. And then my workstation is over here. I have all of my paints, some newspaper strips for cleaning the surface. I made some rakes. This one actually came from this abandoned mirror that I found. It had these hooks on it, so I just used some pliers to straighten it out. And then I made this one out of toothpicks. Dyes that I'm gonna pour into the tray and my post bath.
the next morning and I'm super excited. I spent all of last night marbling. I totally lost track of time and my creations have been drying in the kitchen. Here are some of them. I honestly just went crazy with all of the colors and the patterns and I ended up using all 20 of the sheets that I prepared. I feel like I'm ready to marble on leather now, but I might do one or two more sessions on paper just so that I can dial in the colors and patterns that I want. Overall, marbling really exceeded my expectations both in terms of how well it turned out and also how easy and fun it was to do. I would highly recommend this to literally everyone because you don't need to be artistic, you just need to have fun and try different things.